All right, so I'm taking apart. This is the two dual piston, okay? And the concern I had was with these at 800, okay? 0.8. All right, so my issue is with the 0.8, the gap is too big here. And what I don't want to happen is for the pads to wear down to the point where they can slip into here because then they're just going to go flying out. Not necessarily out this way, the little keeper here might hold it, but it could and it could go out and jam in the wheel, uh, jam in the brake bracket, any of that kind of stuff. So I want to make sure that I, I uh, for this, I get these centered. Okay, so they were pretty well centered at 0.900, so I made new um, spacers, okay, and what I'll what I'm considering here is, is putting 0.900 spacers on here on all the brackets and then having 100, 0.100 spacers for those guys that want the single pistons. Okay, and then that way the bracket still uh, fits both, uh, both setups. You know, it's not uncommon at all to shim brackets to get them centered and basically that's what it would be. It'd be a, a 0.100 shim there. So... Let's see. Well, that fit pretty nice. It's not sitting all the way down, though, because uh, there's a bit more radius under here than on the other ones, because I undercut the other ones. I'll have to figure out if I can do that on the CNC. <laughs> uh, probably not with the Wizards. I'll probably have to figure out how to manually do that. So I'll need to bevel these uh, the holes on the brackets here on the tabs. Alright, I've got the .900 spacers in there and and uh, right there is the point I'm looking at and right there and it is centered again over the uh, the, the rotor. So that's good. Um, positioning stuff like that I still got uh, Still got to kind of play with that a little bit. These pads here, they, they stand proud a little bit. Um, I ground off the thing up here that was uh, hitting it. Uh, these pads are okay. Uh, the comment made about uh, Nutty for Nissan maybe? I don't remember who it was. Um, about having the backing plate, the steel part, concentric with the hub, with the rotor. For right now, for testing, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of moving it around and everything like that. And and they're they're completely right. The thing is, is when these get put together, okay, I'll, I'll be tacking them and everything like that and test fitting them and that kind of stuff. But the jig will be done in CAD as well. And that way I can make sure that these two bolts are perfectly concentric with everything else. And if they are then the edge of this pad should be with this, you know, and that's the way it's designed. It's just right now I've got some free play in there because these aren't locked down. Uh, so, um, and you can see that since there's still a sixteenth of an inch at least there, this pad can wear down, you know, probably to about half of what it is now and still have enough metal here overlapping that to uh, to not pop out of there so taking a little quick look here at the uh, the concern over the uh, lug nut lug bolt wheel stud so the wheel stud goes up in there and you can see that the clearance right here there's plenty even for the head there all right let's see if we can do this kind of smooth but Clearance top, oh, clearance bottom. That's uh, certainly close enough to being centered. Um, oh, and let's uh, let's take a peek here. See, there's even more clearance. Yeah, there's plenty of. Uh, so wheel stud certainly not a problem there either. Okay, now this is this is with the eight with the point eight spacers back in because uh, I haven't made the 100 millimeter space the 0.1 spacers yet to to do the bolting and I do kind of need to do that because 
that way I can leave the ears clamped um, from one bracket to the next and see how well they're they're centered in and out kind of thing with the the pad spacing so um, <coughs> that's uh, that's what I needed to know for now oh basically <laughs> yeah basically I was uh, trying to get another video finished up and it was really short and I thought well heck I'll I'll go down and add a little bit more uh, a couple more minutes to it to show some of this other stuff and tie it together and then uh, call it good.